Hi there folks, this is a slightly longer flow class for those of you that are looking to do a wee bit more work on single leg standing balancing, flow transitions that maybe are a little bit more almost plyometric in their nature. If you're newer, there is a lot that you can still do in this class. If you need to slow it down, slow it down. In a flow class, I like to use music. There's no music in the recording for obviously copyright reasons. If you want to put your favorite tracks on in the background and still listen to me doing it, go for it and use that to help create some of the movement here. If you want longer in Shavasana, set a timer because remember falling asleep and missing work is no fun for anyone. If you like the video, make sure you subscribe to the channel. If not, drop a comment below, let me know any other classes that you might want to see from me and I'll make sure I prepare them for next time round. Start in a cross leg position. Ideally, feel for getting the shoulders stacked right above the sit bones and the head up. Use a little bit of a pulling action with your hands against your knees to help lift up through your chest and then close your eyes. Focus on your breathing. Aim to get your inhale for roughly a count of five and your exhale for a slow count of six. Everything that we're doing in today's class, your aim is to work with this breath format so that you can begin to discover how the breath can carry you through some of the poses and the flow parts that we'll be working on today. If you get any snags in your body, be it tight shoulders, neck, lower back, just get a feel for how they are right now and then be aware of them as we are moving. Just making any decisions based on how these areas feel so that you can get through your practice unencumbered maybe by these areas or making good decisions for them. As you start to exhale, pull the belly button in towards the spine. So using the inhale to stretch into the side ribs, and the exhale to pull the abdomen inwards. Use this to help connect to a slightly stronger breath, bringing in that ujjayi whisper quality sound. Inhale, take the arms out to the side and up. Exhale, turn the palms away, extend into the wrists, and then exhale to sweep the arms down, aiming to get as big a circle as possible. Inhale, take the arms out, reach the arms up. Exhale, turn the hands away, extend into the wrists, fold the arms down. Inhale, bring the arms up, lift chest up. This time, exhale, bring the hands down, Walk forwards into a cross-legged forward bend. Tighten the hips. Use the fingertips behind you to help lengthen the chest forwards. Neck is relaxing down. At this first part of class, breathe in a way that's helping to create a bit of opening around your back and your side ribs. And I'm going to take a little bit of movement here, whether that is arcing side to side, making circles with the rib cage, or even arcing the ribs side to side, just to begin to explore what is going on and what needs to move. Same with shoulders. Shoulders can be moving a little bit more dynamically here. Inhale, walk your hands up from here. From where you are, change the cross in your legs. Bring the hands down by your sides, palms face the back of your mat. Inhale, lift chest up. Exhale, squeeze your shoulder blades back and reach backwards with your hands. Imagine you were holding back cues of people coming towards you. Hands are pressing back, shoulder blades are squeezing. The head has a tendency to poke forwards here. Lift up through the back of your skull. Inhale, sweep the arms forwards and up, arcing the chest forwards. Exhale, reach the arms straight forwards. Inhale, deeply lift up through the ribs. Exhale, squeeze your crossed legs up, bringing the knees up towards your underarms. Inhale, lower the legs down a little bit, chest is up, balancing just behind your sit bones. Exhale, squeeze the knees up towards your underarms. Inhale, legs are coming down a little bit. Exhale, squeeze knees up towards underarms. Inhale there. Now from this place, you're going to exhale to bring the legs in, pull the ankles in really tight, rock forwards, coming onto all fours. Maybe when you do that transition, you're swinging the legs around to the side. From here, turning the fingers outwards so your middle fingers point back. So working cat arches here, but with a little bit of a wrist variant. 
Exhale, tuck the tailbone down, round into the back, lengthening the mid back up towards the ceiling. Shift the hips back so you get a little bit more stretch into the forearms. Inhale, tip the pelvis the other way, scooping your chest forwards, bend the elbows and squeeze the shoulder blades back. Exhale, tuck tailbone down, round into the back. Inhale, lengthen the chest forward, stretching into the wrist a little bit more. Exhale, tuck tailbone down, round into the back, lean back. Inhale, lengthen chest forwards, bend the elbows, articulate the chest forwards. Exhale, tuck tailbone down, round into the back, lean back. Bring the weight back over your hands, spin the fingers round so your fingers are pointing forwards. Take your left hand and turn the palm to face up and the middle finger to point in towards the centre of the mat. Right hand is going to press right over the top of your left thumb pad. Exhale, sink the hips back towards your heels, endeavouring to keep that left thumb on the floor, head and neck relaxed down. Inhale, feel for stretching your rib cage towards the front of the mat. Exhale, press with your hands and send the hips towards the back of the mat. It is personal preference whether your toes are tucked or whether the feet are pointing straight to the back of the mat. Inhale, bring the weight back forwards. Exhale, release the grip, send the right hand down. Left hand goes over the top. Inhale, lengthen chest forwards. Exhale, sink the hips back towards the heels, pressing your right thumb pad down towards the ground. So here you're getting a little bit of that rotation to where your two forearm bones are meeting your hand. Inhale in a way that stretches into the side ribs. Exhale, press the hips back towards the heels. All right, now inhale, come forwards. Hands are going to go underneath the shoulders. Step one foot back and then the other, coming into a plank position. In plank, lift up the space between the shoulder blades and then lengthen forwards through the back of the head. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, press the hips up and back towards the downward facing dog. In down dog, take a little bit of movement, so bending one leg and then the other, just beginning to stretch and warm up through the calves, the back of the legs. One of my favorite things to do here, especially when working at the hip and low back stability, is to do the following. Inhale to lift up to your tiptoes. Exhale, pivot both heels to the left, so almost aiming to get your feet in a straight line, mirroring the back of your mat, but lean your pelvis over to the right. This creates a really good stretch down through right side low back. Press more through your right palm. Inhale, bring the feet back through center. Exhale, send the heels over to the right. Press into the left palm. Hips lean a little bit left, so arcing into the left side low back. Inhale, bring the feet back through center. Shift forwards into more of a plank position, almost allowing the chest to unfurl forwards. Exhale, bend the elbows, lowering down towards the ground. So cobra setup. Roll the knees in towards each other. Exhale, tuck your tailbone towards your heels, press the feet down. Inhale, pull with the arms so the chest is scooping forwards, shoulder blades squeeze back, and then hover the hands from the ground. This is giving you just a little bit of a different feel for Cobra, so working more your active range of mobility. Now with your hands, get the forearms working back in space so they are directly underneath the elbows. Deep breath in. Exhale, hands down, tuck the toes, lift the knees up, pressing up into downward facing dog. Have a look in front of your hands. Inhale to begin to walk your feet forwards towards your hands. It may take many steps. Aiming for feet to be hip distance and parallel. Take the right hand to hold the left bicep and then sit the back of the left hand against your right bicep. So you've got this passive fold in the arms. Snuggle the head in there and then hang down. Bend the legs enough that your rib cage can rest on your thighs with ease. And relax your neck. Feel for shifting the weight towards the front of the feet and towards the heels and just feeling how this changes the nature of the stretch here. Inhale to lengthen your ribcage down towards the floor. Exhale, point your sit bones up towards the ceiling. Relax the arms down, shift the weight towards your heels. 
Inhale, take the arms out to the side, squeeze your shoulder blades back and bend the legs so your thighs are parallel to the ground. In this little airplane squat, lift the rib cage just up off the thighs and lengthen the skull forwards. Instead of the lower back rounding, aim to extend out through the lower back. So you're working more of a back extension. So a slight back bend feel here. Shoulder blades are squeezing back. Arms are drawing back towards the back of the mat. Bring the thighs closer towards parallel, chest forwards. Take another deep breath here. Forward bend, exhale, hang down over the legs. Maybe the legs are gradually straightening. Inhale, take the arms out to the side, come all the way up towards standing. Exhale, bring hands together at chest. Inhale, take the arms wide, lift chest up. Forward bend, exhale, arms go wide, coming back down. That little airplane squat. So when we say halfway lift, that's what this will be today. Inhale, take the arms out to the side, legs are bending towards parallel to the ground. Forward bend, exhale. Inhale, take the arms wide, come all the way up. Exhale, hands together at chest. Inhale, take the arms wide, lift chest. Forward bend, exhale. Inhale, arms come up to the side, scoop the chest forwards. Forward bend, exhale. Inhale, arms go wide, lift all the way up. Exhale, hands together at the heart. Inhale, reach up, drive down through the legs. Forward bend, exhale. Inhale, arms come up to the side, bend the legs, scoop chest forwards. Forward bend, exhale. Now this time, Step the feet back so you're back in that high plank position. Instead of going into a big tuck in the tailbone, almost slightly point your butt towards the ceiling, but stretch the rib cage forwards. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, bend the elbows. So elbows are above the wrists, shoulders away from the ears. Pause here. So it's gonna be a bit of a countdown for five, four, three, two, and one. Lower the hips down. Cobra, inhale, lengthen the chest forwards, hands are squeezing towards your feet, press down through the feet. Downward facing dog, either roll over the toes or step them to move towards down dog. Hover your left foot from the mat, so not by bending the leg, but by drawing the left thigh bone up into the hip. Deep breath in, exhale, touch your left knee to your left upper arm. Squeeze the contact points, so you're not just dumping weight down there. Press the knee against your arm, whether it's elbow or upper arm, and pause. Drive the right heel towards the back of the mat. Now to help get the foot through, lift high on the right toes, lift the sacrum, and lightly set the foot down. If it didn't make it there, pick it up, pull it forwards. Lower the hips towards the front heel. Exhale, tuck the tailbone down, and squeeze the right knee towards the front of the mat. Inhale, bring the arms up. In this position, bend the arms and hold onto the elbows. Inhale, lift the shoulder blades up. Exhale, squeeze the shoulder blades back and begin to lean the shoulders and chest back. Head is resting on the arms. If you feel like your head's getting pushed forward, tuck the chin a little bit and see if you can move the shoulders independently without your head and neck being affected. Take a deep breath. Exhale, release the hands down. Go for right hand underneath the right shoulder and then inhale to reach the left arm up. There's gonna be a bit more movement here. Allow the shoulders, allow the pelvis to move. Exhale, reach the left arm towards the back of the room, following the hand with your head. Inhale, arm is sweeping down, forwards and up. Exhale, reach the arm back and down. Inhale, arm forwards and up. Exhale, arm is going back and down. Inhale, make that circle. Exhale, arm comes down. Inhale, forwards. Exhale, arm comes down. Now, from this place, turn your left foot out 90 degrees, tuck the right toes, and then flip onto the pinky edge of the right foot. Right hand may need to move, so it's underneath the right shoulder. Inhale, reach the left arm skywards. Exhale, bring the right side of your pelvis closer to your left calf. Use this, pressing down through your arms, pressing down through your right leg to get a little bit more hip lift. Take a huge breath here. Exhale, relax the hips down, wrap the left arm around that left leg and your aim is to get right side of pelvis touching down. Obviously there can be a little adjustments to be made here, maybe moving your hand, moving the hip. If your foot is slipping, I recommend you block it using your left hand. Now if this is comfortable enough, maybe coming down onto the right elbow. If you can get both elbows down, great. 
if the still is feeling comfortable enough, left hand is pressing onto the left thigh to begin to open that hip up. So it's like doing Baddha Konasana and you've slipped underneath it. Lengthen your chest forward, almost thinking you want to put your breastbone on your foot. It's gonna be quite a strong stretch in that foot. And again, if it is sliding, use an arm to hold that in place. A bit of a plank variation as a little challenge. Inhale, bring yourself up from here. Lift onto the left tiptoes. That left arm from where it was before is gonna slide underneath that left shin. Squeeze the left heel in and then tuck the right toes. So chest is scooping forwards, left heel is squeezing around the leg. Deep breath in. Exhale, whip that leg back, bend the elbows and lower. Cobra, inhale, lengthen the chest forwards, lift the hands off the floor and take them a little bit wider. Downward facing dog. Exhale, tuck toes, lift the knees. Inhale, hover the right foot from the mat, so flexing the right foot, toes pull towards shin and drawing the right thigh up towards the pelvis. Take a huge breath here. Exhale, bring the right knee to touch the right upper arm or elbow, but squeeze the contact point. Dome between your shoulder blades, but reach back for your left heel for now. We'll change that mechanical action in a second. Inhale to lift high the left toes, lifting sacrum. Exhale, right foot comes down in between the hands. Set the left knee down. Lower the hips towards that front heel. Tailbone tucks down. Inhale, bring the arms up. Exhale, fold the arms. Now, if you don't remember which way you folded your arms before, quick question, do you think you will be okay? I think so. Inhale, lift chest up, lift shoulder blades up. Exhale, squeeze the shoulders back, pulling the arms towards the back of the room. Press down through your front foot so you feel your buttock muscles are firing up. Tailbone is tucking down so the left side of the buttocks are working as well. Inhale to stretch the rib cage up away from the pelvis. Exhale, release the hands down, left hand goes down. From here, Inhale, reach the right arm up, rolling right ribs up towards the ceiling, preparing for some more dynamic movement. Exhale, right arm reaches to the back of the room and down. Inhale, make that big luxurious circle with your arm. Exhale, arm is coming down and sweeping forwards. Inhale, arm is going up. Exhale, arm is going down. Inhale up. Two more like that. And next exhale. Turning that right foot out to 90 degrees, left hand is going under the left shoulder, tuck the left toes and then move on to the pinky edge of that left foot. Pivot left hip towards right calf, inhale reach the right arm up. Use a strong driving down action through your right foot to help switch on a little bit more of the feedback through your right buttock muscles. So here you're getting a little bit of core activation, you're working into your legs, shoulders are having to work hard. It's a very great all-rounder. Take a deep breath here. Exhale to ease the left hip down towards the floor. Once you're there, you might need to make some little adjustments, maybe moving where that left hip is going, maybe moving the left hand. You can either stay here or stage two, coming down towards that left elbow. Maybe the hand is holding the foot or right hand is coaxing the right thigh closer to the left thigh. Eventually the knees almost stack above one another. But that does not need to be right now if that is not happening. You've got the rest of your life to do that sort of stuff. And even if it doesn't happen, you'll probably still have a very fulfilling life. Now coming back to that little plank variation, inhale to walk your hands around and get really high on those right tiptoes. Right arm is snuggling underneath the right leg and squeezing the right heel in. Tuck the left toes so you're lifting the knee up and stretch the ribs forwards. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, take that leg back, bend elbows and lower. Cobra, inhale, this time pull with the arms, working the arms a bit straighter. Back to key, simply bring that a little bit further down. Downward facing dog, exhale, tuck toes, lift knees up. Have a look in between your hands. Inhale to step or hop your feet towards your hands and lengthen the chest forwards. Forward bend, exhale. Inhale, take the arms out to the side, coming all the way up towards standing. Exhale, hands come together at chest. So moving more through Surya Namaskar A, building a little bit more heat and a little bit more dynamic movement. 
We'll be adding extra lunges into the Surya Namaskar A just to get you moving. If lunge feels like high drama, just really make sure you're using your hand to assist in getting that foot there. And if it means you're slowing down this section, join us back in when we hit B series. Inhale, bring the arms up, lift chest up. Forward bend. Exhale. Now remember that halfway lift from earlier. Inhale, open the arms out to the side, bend the legs, chest goes forwards. Chaturanga. Exhale, hands down, step or hop back, bend elbows and lower. Cobra or upward facing dog, thighs and pelvis lifted if comfortable. Downward facing dog. Exhale. Inhale, lift the left leg high to the sky. Exhale, left knee is gracing by the left upper arm and then down in between the hands, right knee down. Inhale, bring the arms up, lift chest up. Chaturanga. Exhale, hands down, step back, bend elbows and lower. Cobra or up dog. Inhale, lengthen chest forwards. Downward facing dog. Exhale. Inhale to lift the right leg high to the sky. Exhale, right knee passes by that right upper arm, down in between the hands, left knee down. Inhale, bring the arms up, tailbone touch straight down. Chaturanga, exhale, hands down, step back, bend elbows and lower. Cobra or upward facing dog, inhale, scoop chest forwards, downward facing dog, exhale. Have a look in between the hands. Inhale to step or hop, feet lightly in between the hands. Forward bend, exhale. Inhale, arms go out to the side, lifting the chest all the way up. Exhale, hands come together, chest. Inhale, reach up, second time round. Forward bend, exhale. Half lift, inhale, scoop the chest forwards, arms out to the side, legs bending. Chaturanga, exhale, step or hop back, bend elbows. Cobra or upward facing dog, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Inhale, left leg lifts, now we're going somewhere different this time. Exhale, left knee touches right upper arm. Pause, squeeze the contact point, lift through your sacrum, deep breath in. Exhale, take the left foot between the hands for lunge. Inhale, bring the arms up, tailbone tucks down. Chaturanga, exhale, hands down, step back, bend elbows and lower. Cobra or up dog, inhale, lengthen chest forwards, tailbone tucks down. Downward facing dog, exhale. Inhale, lift right leg high to the sky. Exhale, right knee touches left upper arm. Squeeze that contact point, pushing down through your hands. Take another deep breath here. Exhale, right foot down in between the hands, left knee down. Inhale, bring the arms up, lift chest up. Chaturanga, exhale, hands down. Step back, bend elbows and lower. Cobra or upward facing dog, inhale. Downward facing dog. Exhale, pike the hips up, press through your palms. Have a look in between your hands. Inhale to either step or hop your feet to your hands. Bend the knees and scoop into that halfway lift, which is shoulder blades squeezing back, sit bones pointing back. Forward bend, exhale. Inhale, take the arms out to the side, coming all the way up. Exhale, bring hands together at chest. Now that we're a bit warmer, taking a little bit of balance, open the feet about hip distance apart, shift the weight onto your left foot, and then bring the right knee up. Tendency is to scoop under in the pelvis here, almost point your sacrum back, and then bring the right hand onto your right thigh. Inhale, lift up through the ribcage. Exhale, push your hand down into your knee, your knee up into your hand, and you can test with your left hand, feeling right side of abdomen. You should be able to feel the engagement in your abdominals here. Inhale, lift chest. Exhale, release that leg down. Shift the weight onto the right foot. Exhale, lift the left knee. Sacrum is moving slightly back, so rather than curling under, just to get the knee higher. Left hand on left thigh. Inhale, lift chest up. Exhale, push your hand down into your thigh. Push your thigh up against your hand. Steady your breathing, and you can test your hand on the abdominals to feel, is there engagement, and can you create a little bit more so you can feel this abdominal? Same thing when you're working with the knee to arm. Inhale, release that leg down. All right, now, back to the front of the mat, have your feet together. Chair, inhale, bend the legs, reach the arms forwards. Exhale, begin to shift your hips down. Now you might need to take your hands down, otherwise, bring yourself down, come down onto your back, and reach the arms straight up. Now you can go for more of a neutral wrist or extend into the wrists, so you're bending into them and aiming for the knees to be up. Moving into a little bit of an abdominal that we'll be using later. 
Send the legs straight up towards the ceiling and then gradually work them towards about a 45 degree angle up from the floor. Deep breath in, exhale, take the knees wide and pull the knees towards your upper arms or your underarms. So you end up rounding into your back. Inhale, send the legs forwards. Exhale, knees towards the upper arms. Inhale, send the legs forwards. Well, to make this more challenging, lift the shoulders up. Exhale, squeeze the knees towards the underarms. So it's like a floor-based crow pose. Inhale, legs forwards. Exhale, squeeze the knees towards the upper arms. Inhale, lengthen the legs. Exhale, squeeze the knees towards the arms. Now squeeze the contact point, shoulders are up. Inhale, release the head down. Bring the hands to the backs of the thighs. So you're just going towards the outside of the legs. Deep breath in. Exhale, tuck the chin, roll up towards seated, and come into a little bit of a yogi squat. Now as you move towards Bakasana, a little note about this one. The way I'm looking for you to do this today is that your shin bone is going into the upper arm rather than your kneecap going into the upper arm. If you find your mobility is challenged in this, use a block or whatever else you've got that you can use for that. So if you're using the block, you'll have the knees wide, hands are down, about shoulder distance, if not slightly wider, and bending the elbows. So from where you are, whether you're using the block or not, lift the hips up, hands are down, bend the elbows and set the shins onto the upper arms. Inhale, lift up the space between the shoulder blades. Exhale, flex chest muscles, maybe the feet lift off the block, lengthen forwards through the back of the skull. Now, even if your feet are down and you're squeezing your elbows in, lifting between the shoulders, lengthening out through your neck, you're still doing all the work. The only thing that hasn't happened is the feet lifting up, but you're still working. Grow people, land your feet back down. All right, now from here, move into downward facing dog. Now we're going to play a little bit. Have a look in between your hands. Inhale to step or hop your feet to your hands. Lengthen the chest forwards. Forward bend, exhale. Inhale, take the arms wide, come all the way up to standing. Exhale, hands come together at chest. So there's a few movements in this next little V-series. We'll take a little bit longer going first time round, then we'll move more one breath per movement. Chair, inhale, bend the legs, reach the arms forwards and up. Airplane arms, exhale, sweep the arms back, squeeze shoulder blades back. Inhale, sweep your arms forwards, lengthening the chest forwards. Airplane arms, exhale, sweep the arms back, and this time, shift the onto your right foot, Inhale, send your left leg back. So straightening both legs out, coming into warrior three with the arms in the airplane. Left leg is straight, chest scoops forward, back to the hands are braced on your right thigh. Take a deep breath in. Curtsy, exhale, bend your right leg, cross your left leg behind your right, lean the weight to the left a little bit as you squeeze the inner thighs. Warrior three, inhale, bring it back, chest is scooping forward and up. Warrior two, left arm is doing that sweep up and over like we did in that lunge earlier. Land onto the left foot, arms are coming out to the side. So bend into that right leg, right leg is going forwards, lower the hips. Reverse warrior, inhale to reach the right arm up and back, lengthening right ribs away from pelvis. Bend into that right leg, press down through the front foot. Rainbow warrior, or skandasana, whichever one you like to call it. Exhale, right hand is coming down towards the instep of that foot. Push off of there, flexing the foot, and sit into the left hip. So maybe the hands are down, maybe both hands are down. Maybe the left heel is up a little bit. If you're able to, go in for one arm reaching forwards, one arm reaching back. Take a deep breath here, lift the chest up away from your right leg. Half moon is next. You're going to launch onto that right foot. Right hand is going to reach in that direction. Press off of that left foot. And balance. So right foot is down, right hand is about 10 inches in front of that right foot and then about 2 inches to the right. It's a lot of rights. If you need a block, put it under your right hand. Inhale to reach the left leg towards the back of the mat, left arm up. Vertical split. Exhale, bring the hands down, square your chest but not the hips, and walk your hands over towards the right side. So fingers point towards the right side of the mat. Lean your rib cage towards the left side of the mat. Inhale in a way that opens up into left side ribs. Exhale, actively reach out through that left leg. You can bend that leg in the air to change the sensations. Plank. 
exhale, hands down, step back, bend elbows and lower. Now instead of doing up dog, pause. Bend your left leg. You are going to roll onto your butt. So you have to roll from the left side to the right side. Roll onto your butt. Draw your right shoulder blade down away from your ear and lift onto the left tip toes. Flip dog. Inhale, lift the hips up. So coming into this, maybe a different way to how you've come into it before. Right shoulder is drawing down away from the ear. Hips are lifting. Plank. Inhale, set the hands down. Exhale, bend elbows and lower. Right leg bend. Roll from right to left. Put the big toe down. Draw your left shoulder blade down. Inhale, lift the hips up. So actively reaching right arm towards the front of the mat. Chaturanga. Exhale, hands down. Bend elbows and lower. Cobra or upward facing dog. Inhale. Downward facing dog. Exhale, point sit bones up. Have a loop towards the front of your mat. Inhale to step or hop, feet to your hands, lengthening chest forwards. Forward bend, exhale. Chair, inhale, bend the legs, reach the arms up. Airplane arms, exhale. Inhale, sweep the arms forwards, palms face one another. Exhale, back to airplane arms, shift away onto your left foot. Inhale to reach the right foot back into warrior three. Straightening the right leg, chest is scooping forwards. Deep breath in, curtsy. Exhale, right leg behind the left. Lean the body weight a little bit to the right. Inhale, come back up into that warrior three. Warrior two, right arm goes forwards and up. Taking it back, bending into that left leg. Reverse warrior. Inhale to reach the left arm up and back, lengthening left ribs away from hips. Shoulders down away from your ears. Press into your feet, so especially if your heart is starting to beat really fast, smooth your breathing out. Rainbow warrior. Exhale, left hand comes down to the inside of that left leg. Flex the left foot, bend the right leg, maybe turning that foot out more. Hands can be wherever you need them to be, maybe they're forwards. Inhale to stretch the ribs up. On exhale, left arm is reaching forwards, push off of your right foot, transitioning towards half moon. Inhale to scoop the chest forwards. Exhale, roll shoulder blades back, tuck your tailbone towards the right heel. Take another deep breath here. Vertical split. Exhale, hands come down. Instead of having the hands under the shoulders, walk the hands over towards your left hand side. Neck is relaxing, maybe bending that right leg in the air. Inhale in a way that stretches into right side ribs. Exhale, bend the elbows and lengthen the right ribs towards the right side. Inhale, set the right foot down, step back into plank. Exhale, bend elbows and lower, bend the right leg. Inhale, roll from right to left. Exhale, push the hips up, lifting, take a deep breath. Chaturanga, exhale, hands down, bend elbows. Left leg bends, roll onto your left hip. Inhale, lift the hips up. Chaturanga, exhale, hands down, bend elbows. Cobra or up dog, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Smooth out the breath, have a look in between your hands. Inhale to step or hop, feet to hands. Forward bend, exhale. Inhale, take the arms wide, bend the legs for chair. Exhale, bring hands together at chest. Working one more time through. Chair, inhale, bend the legs. Airplane arms, exhale. Inhale, sweep the arms forwards. Warrior three, exhale, left leg reaches back. Take a deep breath in, chest puffs forwards. Curtsy, exhale. Inhale, back into warrior three. Warrior two, exhale, open up. Reverse warrior, inhale, reach the right arm up. Skandasana, exhale, pivot onto that left heel. Inhale, press forwards into half moon. Vertical split, exhale, with that little twist. Plank, inhale, step back. Exhale, bend the elbows, left leg bends. Inhale, roll onto that hip, lift hips up. Chaturanga, exhale, hands down, bend elbows, bend the right leg. Roll onto the left hip, inhale, lift hips. Chaturanga, exhale, bend the elbows and lower. Cobra or up dog, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Look in between your hands, inhale to step or hop, feet to your hands. Forward bend, exhale. Chair, inhale, bend the legs, arms up, remember part two. 
Airplane arms, exhale. Inhale, reach the arms forwards. Warrior three, exhale, right leg sweeps back, arms are alongside the body. Inhale, puff chest forwards. Curtsy, exhale, bend both legs, right leg behind the left. Warrior three, inhale, coming back to that straight legged position. Warrior two, exhale, open up, bend left leg. Reverse warrior, inhale, left arm reaches up and back. Skandasana or rainbow warrior, exhale, bend into that right leg. Half moon, inhale, launch onto the left foot, right arm reaches high. Vertical split, exhale, hands are coming down, pivoting to the left. Inhale, set the right foot down, step back into plank. Exhale, bend the elbows, bend the right leg. Inhale, roll onto to the right hip, lift the chest up, coming into that flip dog variation. Chaturanga, exhale, hands down, bend the elbows, bend the left leg. Roll onto your hip, inhale, lift pelvis up. Chaturanga, exhale, hands down, bend elbows and lower. Cobra or up dog, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Have a look in between your hands. Your challenge is to either hop, step, or walk your feet through your hands but without lifting your hands. Hopping through, go cross-legged. If you're walking through, walking through is almost more challenging than hopping through. So you might need to make little itty bitty steps once you're there so you can bring the feet through. Once you're there, take the feet so they are wider than your yoga mat. I like after all that work, balancing on one leg and moving from one side to the other to do a little bit of seated balance work. Grab a hold of the outside edges of your feet and then lean back so you're just behind the sit bones and then lift the feet up themselves. Lift up through your low spine and then gradually, you can either stay here or gradually work the legs towards straight, feeling for that balance point. Now, if you should fall backwards, just make sure you're not anywhere near anything hot and burning. I've got fire behind me, so I'm trying my best not to fall. It's a good incentive. Not that I'm saying you should set yourself on fire for the name of yoga. You're not going to get anywhere with that. Inhale to lift chest up. Exhale, draw shoulder blades down. So breathing is smooth and steady after all of that dynamic movement. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, bend the legs, set the feet down. Have your legs bent about 90 degrees. Low back tight, use your hands behind you. Otherwise, fold the arms on the chest. Inhale, lift ribs. Exhale, send both knees to the right. Polish up the ankles so both knees are bent about 90 degrees and turn your chest to the right. Inhale, bring the knees back through center. Exhale, send knees to the left. Turn the chest to the left. Inhale, bring knees back through center. Exhale, send knees to the right, turn towards that right leg, and then folding down over that leg. Push down through the leg. Now, if you're looking for something a little bit softer, bring the hands down and let that cushion you as you work lower. If you're looking for a little bit more activation, push down through that right foot as you fold forwards, chest is scooping forwards. Inhale, bring yourself up, bring the knees back to center. Exhale, send the knees over to the left. Either fold forwards, lengthening the chest forwards, or the hands can come down, taking you into a little bit more of a fold. See what feels appropriate for right now. I know for me, in my back, I like to work really actively pushing down with the left leg and scooping the chest forwards. Inhale, bring the chest up, bring yourself through center. Now from this foot flexed position, take the hands towards the feet. Inhale, lift up through the rib cage. So maybe you're holding the ankles, your aim is to lift up, essentially it's like a seated dead bugs position. From here, sweep the legs forwards towards the front of your mat. Toes are flexing towards your head, palms face up. Inhale, lift ribs. Exhale, top tailbone and begin to sequentially lower down through pelvis, low back, mid back, and then shoulders, releasing the arms down. If you want to take any other little movements before you take Shavasana, do so now. Otherwise, shoulders down away from the ears, any movements in the legs that will help them feel more settled, and close your eyes. This part of class is where you no longer need that very deliberate breath, that breath to action formula, but more your resting quality of breath. Time for stillness and rest.
gradually begin to deepen your breath. Begin to take a little bit of movement into fingers and toes. Inhale to reach the arms overhead, getting long from fingertips to toe tips. Exhale, bring one knee into your chest and then the other, wrapping your arms around your legs. Take a little bit of movement side to side, just massaging through the lower back. If that feels like too much, pressing up through one shin and then the other can give you some of that feedback through the hips and low back as necessary. Roll to your right hand side and then use your arms to bring yourself up towards seated. Once you're up, close your eyes and bring your hands together at chest. Now regardless of whether that was 100% completion or whether you were doing parts of it and exploring your body, know that you have done good work. Know that taking that time for introspection, movement and linking it to breath has given you something that sitting and not doing that certainly would not have given. So bring in a bit of gratitude for the time that you've taken out of your day to do some of that internal work. Take a huge breath in. Exhale, bow forwards. Namaste.